Hey guys, how's it going? Um, just a little bit of a different video today, obviously a face to face one. Um, I just wanted to have a little talk about this Tavita Panga Jr. news that's coming out because I think it is um, an interesting topic. Not so much about Tavita himself, but just sort of the concepts around it I think are quite interesting and I'd love to get your opinions on it. So, um, yeah, look, just before the video starts, um, <clears throat> there should be a Gold King video out probably next couple days. Uh, I recorded it today. I might put a little teaser clip in here just so you guys can have a look. But, um, yeah, look, in a couple of days, it should be out. Um, all right. But yeah, with that said, let's jump into this. So, um, <clears throat> look, obviously, the news coming out today is that um, you'll see it on the screen. I'll have it sort of like put up on the screen. As you can see, um, you know, Tavita has been having talks with um, the Broncos, having secret meetings or something like that, apparently, with the Broncos. <clears throat> And look, I don't like this. Not because like I'm a Bulldogs fan or because he walked out. Like, obviously, that is a part of it. I would have liked to him, him to have played out his contract. But look, at the end of the day, I think we've spent that money pretty well. So it's not the end of the world for me personally. But I don't like the message it sends <clears throat> throughout the NRL, right? Because if Tavita does sign with the Broncos... What this tells other players is, oh, if you're not happy in your contract, if you're not enjoying your time at your club, you can very easily just say, I don't want to play anymore. Cancel the final. Like, where is it? It was in here somewhere. Um, but yeah, essentially, you can say, like, you know, I don't want to play anymore. Cancel the final year of your contract and just, you know, walk away for six months, right? So, that, see, there you go. So, Potential return to the NRL only after six months after he walked away from a 750k a year contract, right? So, <clears throat> what this says, it was the same back in the day, which is something I'll get into a little bit. But what this essentially says is, um, if you're not happy with your current contract, if you're not happy with your current state of affairs, you can just walk away and come back in six months and it's no issue, right? Now, look, the same thing happened. Um, so, obviously, look, he walked away at the end of last year. Um, look, the same thing happened with Sonny Bill back in, what was it, 2008, I think, 2008, 2007, whatever it was. And then the same thing happened with Valentine Holmes. All right? So this has happened quite a few times. All right? And now, the issue with this, at the end of the day, isn't necessarily the fact that, like, don't get me wrong, in all three of these instances, both Tavita, Sonny Bill, and Valentine Holmes, all three were and are you know, were and, you know, still are in the case of some of them, world-class players, like, you know, fantastic footballers, right? <clears throat> and so not only is the issue that you are losing a key player in your squad, but honestly, the bigger issue is more behind the scenes for the club, all right? And so what I mean by that is, let's use Tavita as an example, right? Whether you like Tavita or you hate Tavita, all right? Majority of people will tune in to watch him play. I'm just looking over here because I've got the webcam over here. Sorry. But, um, you know, majority of people will tune in to watch him play just because of who he is, right? Like, you tune in, you're watching a Tavita Panga Jr. play. You're thinking, oh, he's going to hit someone. You know, he might get Simbin. He might get sent off. He's going to put on a huge shot. You know, like, he at the end of the day, he puts butts in seats, and so that's where the issue comes in, right? Now, I don't know how TV deals work in the NRL and all that sort of stuff, but I would assume it's the same as every other sport in the world where if you are shown on the TV, like if your club is shown on the TV, you get some sort of percentage of the revenue earned from like the commercials played and all that sort of stuff back into the club, right? And so... <clears throat> Tavita Pangai leaving the dogs, and this is the same with when Sonny Bill did it, it's the same when Valentine, Hol Valentine Holmes did it to the Sharks. These players put butts in seats, right? You know, Tavita and, and Sonny Bill, for example, because like they were just dominant forwards, you know, big hits, would just whack people, run into people, charge in. Like, you know, it was exciting stuff. It put butts in seats, got people watching the dogs. And then same with the Sharks, you know, Valentine Holmes, at the time when he was at the Sharks, I would say arguably he was one of the best fullbacks in the competition, right? Like he was he was creating chances out of nothing, full field tries, fantastic cutout passes to his winger. You know, he 
like for the Sharks, he was the guy, right? And so again, he was putting butts in seats and that was earning the Sharks money because people would go to games, like so they would buy tickets to games to watch him, right? Same with Sonny Bill back in the day. People would buy tickets to games to watch Sonny Bill play. Even if you weren't a fan of the Dogs, weren't a fan of the Sharks, if you had the opportunity to go and see this game, like see one of those games live, you could be like, oh, Val Holmes is going to pop off. He's going to do something. Yeah, I want to go see it live. Oh, Sonny Bill's going to do something. I want to see it live. And that's the same with Tevita, right? Again, whether you love him or hate him, he puts butts in seats, right? Like he, he creates drama, and people love drama. People want to watch drama, right? And so that's where the issue comes in. So, you know, let's say he does end up signing with the Broncos, right? And he has, you know, let's not say an amazing season, but, you know, a good enough season, right? All of that extra revenue now that could have gone to the dogs from people tuning in to watch the games on the TV, buying tickets to go watch the games live, that's now going to the Broncos as opposed to the Bulldogs, Right? And that's where the issue is, right? Now, look, in all three of these instances, I think, well, actually, no, in the Sunny Bill and Tavita instances specifically, I believe um, <clears throat> Tavita's, yeah, Tavita's reason was he was forced to play. He, like, apparently, from what he said, he just doesn't like playing. He didn't like playing rugby league yet. So there you go. He didn't really want to play as a kid. And then Sunny Bill's was, it was, um, where was it? It was down here somewhere. Uh, where was it? It was something like he was, um, yeah, here. So, like, apparently he was just dealing with some severe personal issues. Which, look, at the end of the day, if you're dealing with personal stuff, fair enough. Which I'm assuming is the case of both, was the case of both Tavita and um, Sunny Bill. Which, you know, look, fair enough. If you're having mental issues, you've got to take care of it. That's fair enough. There's nothing wrong with that. But where there's the issue is if you leave, right? <clears throat> you know, like I've said, you're taking money away from the club that you're leaving. Even though you're not taking the extra money from your contract, like that's something separate. Like the money that the club generates from like, you know, TV, you know, like from TV revenue, ticket purchases, stuff like that, that can go back into their youth setups, right, to help grow their grassroots footy so they can grow stronger and better players for the future. It can upgrade their training facilities. It can do so much for a club. And the fact that, They've left and you know and essentially came back to somewhere else. That now just gives that other club that revenue essentially, right? So that's where the issue is, right? The Valentine Holmes one is a little bit different because he did, um, what was it like? It wasn't a mental issue thing for him. He just wanted to try out NFL, which in a way I think is actually a little bit worse. If you're just like, oh, I don't want to play my last year, I just want to go try NFL. Like I think that's a little bit worse. But at the same time, conceptually, it's the same thing, right? Like, he's left all of the potential ticket sales, all the potential people tuning in to watch him on the TV. Right? All that's gone now because he's not there. So people aren't going to tune in and watch for him anymore. Like, you know, the, the casual viewer, I should say. Or like, you know, the... um, Not the non-fan, what's the word? The, the neutral fan, right? You know, where you don't go for either club that's playing, you just tune in because you want to watch that specific player and see what they can do, right? That revenue now goes like for Valentine Homesake, instead of that revenue going to the Sharks, it now goes to the Cowboys, right? Which to be fair, he was probably gonna end up at the Cowboys anyway, which is a different thing, but conceptually it's still the same thing, right? <clears throat> so um yeah, look, I just um wanna get your guys' opinions on it. Um, you know, what do you think like look, at the end of the day, I think if he wants to play, he should be allowed to play. I don't have an issue with that at all. But I do think and this isn't just the Bulldogs thing, right? I think the same thing like the Sharks, for example, when Valentine Holmes left. I think there should be some sort of compensation to the club that the player walked away from. Because again, as I've mentioned, all the money that that club could have earned from ticket sales, TV revenue, etc., etc., like that adds up at the end of the day, right? Especially when it's a big name like that. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, look, just what do you guys think? Do you guys agree? Do you guys disagree? Yes, no, why? Um, yeah, look, let me know down in the comments. Um, as I've mentioned in the past couple of videos, I have a Discord. So if you want to talk about it further in the Discord, there'll be a link to that in the description as well. But yeah, just sort of um, wanted to talk about this because I think it's an interesting topic to, um, <clears throat> to discuss. 
But um, yeah, with that said, guys, um, as I mentioned at the start, Gold King video should be out either tomorrow or the day after. Um, I don't know if I want to do back to back. I'd rather have like a gap between each video. I just I feel like that works a bit better for me. But we'll see. Um, but yeah, again, let me know what you think in the comments. But until then, guys, like until the next one, have a good one. Take it easy.